Turn the camera off, and you get one of these. So that's the trick. So all I gotta do is turn the camera off, and I'll catch a freaking giant every time. Look at that. 20 incher, weighing four pounds, two ounce. Not a bad fish. Pretty good fish for the Merrimack River here in Missouri. I'll take it. There you go, girl. With a piece in my hand and bloodshot eyes, I walk to the water for a last goodbye. He begs so much, it clouded my mind. One thing's clear, the man's gotta die. Man makes right, so he said, when he held all the keys over our head. I lived in that grip, but now he'll learn at the end with the tables turned. Lord, forgive me. Take me on down the river where the kids can't find a red hand to center. On where the grave can't cry out. Cause I don't run down the river with a hand on a colt and a finger on the trigger. And oh, before it's on, they try to find me. So take me on down. healthy pre-spawn smallmouth. Right that thing's just round. They don't normally look that round, but they're pre-spawn. They're, uh, they're staging here. They're staging here for the spawn coming up here in another month. The water's 57, 55 to 57 degrees, so I have a feeling I'm on a, like a gravel bar that's normally sticking out of the water five, six feet, but the river's up four feet, so there's only about a foot or two of gravel bar showing. Water's coming over it. There's just, I was driving along and I seen minnows just popping and all over in this dirty water, and I thought, man, I'm going to pull in there real stealthy like. And I set my, I got this pole you stab in, so I don't, it's too shallow to put trolling motor down. Heck, I'm in eight inches of water, but right behind me, there's like a six or seven foot drop off. So there's minnows and shad just going, popping on top, getting chased. So I'm going to keep throwing this uh, HD swimmer in there, and I'm just bringing it in there slow. The water's dirty, so I try to keep it on the bottom. Usually the fish are on the bottom. When it's dirty, dirty, you can't see six inches so we'll see what happens I never saw him coming on the boat and planks now staring down a barrel at bone blank range I made for the water jumping off the ledge but not before I catch two to the chest now there's blood and water filling let's get us one let's get us a big old small mouth man I am just out here having a blast on a I think it's the March 30th and uh, pre-spawn smallmouth so I'm catching them on the crawl the HD crawl and I'm catching them on a 3.5 swimmer they're shipping our 4 inch swimmers today and I can't wait to get them in because I think they want a little bigger bait and I can't wait to have the 4 inch in my hands man I'm just excited about it By the river bank, caught a boat sap, took off like a hurricane. With spotlights, dogs, hit the whole nine yards, are breathing down my neck and breathing hard. That's a good one. Weeks in a wild chase across the highways, mountains over seven states. You're gonna have a good time. Get you some swimmers. Get you some smallies.
Oh my god. That ripped the rod out of my hand. What the heck? What in the world? It's just a big old smiley. Man, they hit that swim bait so ridiculous. How about that? Oh my gosh. That about ripped the rod out of my hand. Holy cow, this one's it's a big fish. Where's my net? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh my gosh. These things fight so hard in this 55 degree water. I'm gonna get the net. Yeah, I'm gonna get the net. Oh my gosh. These things are freaking chunks. Look at this. Look at this freaking chunker. Golly. I can't believe how fat they are. Pre spawn. They are loading up, getting ready for next month. You know, they're not going to feed a whole lot. They're going to be worried about laying eggs and finding embedding areas. So where I'm at here, these fish will be moved miles by the next month to get to their beds. Well, craw action. I can't describe how painful that is to lose a fish that big. I mean, that was a big one. No doubt about it, that was a big fish. I probably won't get another chance at that one. But I'll have a cup of coffee. Got him. Got him. That's a good one. It's a decent fish. That's a good fish. It's a nice one. Pretty, pretty, pretty small mouth. Water so dirty. They can see that. Ain't that pretty? Oh my gosh, that was a freaking giant. Hey, it's pre spawn. These fish are on their way up and down the river to wherever their spawning place is, and they all spawn all over the place. You know, but typically they have a certain spot where they will spawn every year the same fish. There's your bite. It's not that big. But he's a fish. Got a lamp on him. That's not a bad little guy. This did the damage today on some pre-spawn smallmouth. Here we are at the end of March. Um, these fish are stacking up, feeding like crazy, getting ready for the spawn. If you uh, can get on a, a bite, or if you could find 
one good fish, I would recommend sitting tight and fishing it hard. Uh, drag a crawl on the bottom through that spot or uh, swim the HD swimmer through them. I sat here in one spot and just caught the heck out of them. It's a good time to be out. Everybody's stuck in the house with this uh, virus we got going across the country and the world. If you can get out at all safely and hit some local water, I've been going to ponds, lakes, and I live on a river, so I got a river at my disposal, and everywhere I've gone on this river, it's just been on fire on this, especially on the swimmer. These fish, I was going along this morning, and I seen a lot of topwater minnow activity, so I just stopped and started fishing it, and wherever there's a lot of bait fish, there's going to be a lot of big, fat female bass feeding up, getting ready for the spawn. I went upriver a little bit and caught a lot of little male bass, so it's like the males are getting close to the spawn beds. The females are wherever they could feed easily and just gorge and get as fat as they can. So go to TackleHD.com and get you some swimmers and some high def craws. We're still shipping them every day, guys, so be safe out there and have fun.